Ladies and gents, the time is upon us. I have finally no lifed my way to page 10 of the Warbonds tree and I'm about to unlock the penultimate weapon, the clutch weapon. Hopefully it's half as good in Helldivers 2. Let's check it out in all its glory. The Plaz-1 Scorcher, energy-based. A plasma rifle firing a bolt of superheated gas which explodes on impact. Avoid standing in proximity to the blast. This sounds like there is going to be AoE. Who knows? I guess uh, we have to try it out to see uh, whether it's worth the goods and all of that metal farming I had to do for this. Let's go. I'm gonna shoot this for the first time. Let's go. I wanna see it. Fire's pretty fast. Yeah, it looks just like a normal laser. <laughs> Can I get a call in? Oh my god! What's what's hitting me? I'm being mortar- Oh, you're mortar- Oh, <laughs> mass! Yeah, you mortar hit him. I think on the way up over. I'm dying! Your mortars are massacring me! Nah, nah, it's fine. Gun is amazing. Really? I'm gonna die. Needs a bigger mag. How'd you like oh, hello. to taste the freedom? Hello. Oh good. It's alright boys, I'm on top now. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I told you, I'm sorry. Nice Get zoned. <laughs> oh my I'm god. Sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Oh I'm jumping god. on the shed! I got two <laughs> impact. I'm alive, I was. I was alive, I might still be. Stim. Him up, Doug's good. Nice. Oh, he's oh, belly. Like a snake. Oh, yep. Get wrecked! Oh, God, he's not getting wrecked. Why are you not getting wrecked? Needs a bigger mag. The squad went offline. I'm playing this very late, so I'm going to have to try this against the bugs with a collection of randoms in a lower difficulty level. I have no idea how this is going to go. Usually I find with the bugs that you need the spray of a shotgun, but this gun does have an AoE element to it, so who knows? Let's see how we go. Let's try it. Let's try it against the charger. Alright, not so good against the front armor. Pretty decent against the little guys, but man, I just wish the clip were about twice the size. Alright, how's it against the eggs? I mean, the AoE is pretty good against the eggs. Okay, as a point of comparison, here is how the Breaker Incendiary does against eggs. Right? Way larger clip size, way easier clear. I just forgot where the rest of the eggs are. There you go. Okay, okay. It's not too bad against the medium armor enemies. All right, all right. Calling down supply. You run out of ammo really Calling quickly though. Supply. And the, once again, I, I know I keep saying this, but the clip just needs to be larger. Like 50% more at least but maybe twice the size to really be effective because it's such a slow firing gun. It has so few bullets in the clip. It needs some more pizzazz to be worth all the medals that it costs. We'll try a few different areas. See how we go. Oh, I'm curious. How is it as a sniper? Have a case of democracy. Bags empty. I mean, not fantastic, is it? Like, it just... It kind of lacks stopping power. Against the automatons, it's great. It can take out the trash mobs. It can take out those Star Wars Walker things. But against the bugs, it's just... I don't know. I'm not feeling that. I don't I don't get that thing that I get with the Liberator. It's not the Liberator. The, uh, the shotgun. The flame shotgun. Why would I forget what it's called? It's the only gun I use. <laughs> the Breaker Incendiary, of course. How could I forget? Okay. Let's check it out on eggs again. In the middle. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Okay. You can save bullets by shooting it in the middle of the egg cluster. It's pretty, pretty economical, actually. For ammo. 
I have mixed feelings about it. I think I need to give it a bit more time, but I feel like if you ramped up the difficulty when you're fighting those mass hordes where they're just coming at you from all directions, I just want the spray and pray action of the, the Breaker Incendiary. So a shotgun variant of this gun would be amazing, especially if it maintains the AoE elements. But as it currently is, it looks cool. The projectile looks cool, as you can see. Look at that. Superheated blue plasma. The aim down sights view is pretty cool. Very Fallout looking. I'll give it that. They want you to be economical with the ammo. It's slow firing. Each shell is meant to, you know, punch really hard. But it just it just needs more je ne sais quoi. Damn straight. Protect Erms during upload. I've got to pose. I've got to look majestic. All right, let's see how it works as a sniper rifle against some reasonably armored enemies. All right, a bit, a bit of melting going on. But again, the curse of the too small clip. Yeah, it's having a bit of trouble against these guys. Yeah. The clip needs to be about twice the size to make any sense. I will say aim down sights view looks pretty cool. It looks very Fallout 4. Got that Art Deco sort of look to it. Reloading. All right, gonna do the charger leg or the charger butt. You can't do the charger butt. Once again, it feels like you blast those shots away, take out two or three enemies, and you're having to reload all the time which I think is going to be an issue when you're just being massed from all sides in the higher difficulties like 7 and above. What a weird place to spawn. Unfortunately, I can't spawn an orbital there. Requesting air support. Requesting air support. Maybe, that, maybe that'll do it. Maybe that'll do it. Get some. Yeah. Get some. Yeah, that did it. Whee! <laughs> Alright. Stopping power is good. AoE is decent. Really great on the eggs. What the hell are my squad getting up to? <laughs> chaos, chaos over there, man. Oh, di oh dear. Full AoE as well. Look at that. You can see the range on the balls. It's nice. I mean, it's, it's good enough for egg clearing. What the, he what the hell are they doing over there? <laughs> what the... <laughs> what is this chaos? I'll always have time for another nuclear launch. Doesn't matter what gun I'm testing. It never ceases to get old, does it? Actually, let's try this out. Alright, here we go. Medium armored enemy, right? At about 50 meters. One, two, three, four, five, tick. I mean, I don't know if I'm hitting the fence or not. I'm not sure what's going on. You know, it's, it's not quite where it needs to be considering how high level it is. And we're already, what, two-thirds of the way through the clip? I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know. I was hoping for something a little more. All right, here we go. All right. So here's that mag problem. Yeah, two shots on those guys consistently. One on the small bugs, as you'd expect. About five on those heavily armored guys. Has decent penetration, just not fantastic. So yeah, all in all, it's a fun gun. It has a novel concept to it. It's probably one of the most interesting guns in the game, given the AoE projectile. But in terms of its actual stopping power, I don't think it's enough to warrant how small the clip is or how low the fire rate is or how low the dispersion of the gun is, especially against the bugs. I don't think I would favor it against the Breaker Incendiary, of all things. Incendiary is just fantastic against bugs. It's very hard to get past. Wow, my squad's really having a good time over there. It, it's a fun weapon. It has cool stuff going on. You can take out the at and Star Wars walkers, whatever the hell they're called in this game when you're fighting the automatons. That's really cool because the AoE projectile gets past the armor and actually kills the guy manning the thing. But when it comes to the bugs, I think you definitely have better and cheaper options. So I guess that's probably a good sign for those of you guys who actually have a life and can't grind a gun for, you know, 10 years or one and a half weeks as I did. 
<laughs> With that said, guys, we conclude our Scorcher Plasma Rifle review. Let's, let's try it on this charger one last time as it's getting melted. I'll, I'll take the credit for that. It was all me, not the orbital laser. As always, I do the legwork so you don't have to, assuming that you have a life and can't grind for a week and a half to get this gun. It really isn't worth, in my opinion, the time that you spend on it. It's pretty fun, looks kind of cool, but in terms of utility, I would stick to the Breaker Incendiary, at least for the Terminids. For the Automatons, it's probably the, the primary. Until next time, I'll see you later. <laughs> Squad's having a lot of fun today. Alright, let's get out of here.